Hey people, this is Crazy Dave. It's about Supergirl. Before I get into this, the show is political. It's been political since season two. All right. So they have been open about their political beliefs and trying to bring people together on both sides. So if you like the show, you like the show. If you don't, you don't. All right. But I'm going to review it. Okay. Season two or season four, episode two. All right. It's called Fallout. Okay. So as you know, the alien, the, the president was exposed as an alien, and if you've been watching, you can be keeping up all the, on all the seasons, you'll notice that there was a rising anti-alien sentiment, right? So basically, if you don't know, the show kind of mirrors the political politics of today, all right? But it offers kind of solutions. That's the difference, okay? So anyway, the president is exposed as an alien, and. There's people standing outside the White House protesting, and she resigns, and a flag falls, and Supergirl saves a girl's life and says, we all need to stop talking past each other and talk to each other, right? Meanwhile, Mercy and Graves are out there as former employees of Lex Luthor, right? So they want to get rid of these things. They want to hack into Lena Luthor's uh, servers to get rid of the image transducer that she put up. To make the aliens look human, basically, so they don't get picked on or ostracized, you know, <clears throat> or cast out, you know, because of the anti-alien sentiment, okay? So you cut to that, and you go back into the reporter's office, and James James Olsen's now running CatCo. He talks about we need to research and find the facts on both sides, you know, no matter where it leads, we got to find the facts, right? You got, I, th I know her character, I know the actress's name is Nicole Maines. Uh, but uh, the uh, the character name is like Neo. Not I can't even pronounce it. I'm sorry, but you know it focuses on her. You know, and her trying to figure out how to report things and all that kind of stuff, and and focus basically on the reporting side of this episode is just basically fun facts. And so while they're doing that, um, they're trying to uh. Mercy's trying to hack into Lena's um, core, you know, Lena's corporation, basically, and she does, okay? Mercy hacks into it and temporarily removes the image transducer. Now, keep in mind, Kara is there trying to find out things about Mercy Great or Mercy. So, anyway, that happens, and Brainiac is at the pizza place and the pizza guy is ready to hand him the pizza and he's exposed as an alien right and he figures this out and the pizza guy ends up hating on him you know and says you need to leave blah 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 you know and and uh uh nicole main's character is there and she's like no you've known this man for years you've known him and for a year you've known him you know and you need to give him his pizza and she stands up for him right so that's cool and they get the pizzas and he's like all tore up because he didn't realize that the discrimination that he was facing you know he's all about calculations and stuff and during this time Nicole Maines' character Neo reveals to James Olsen that we need to publish we need to do this story for justice because if there's not justice for one there's not justice for any of us she reveals that she's a transgender woman which the actual actress is a transgender woman so I've known that you know it's been on all the headlines. I just didn't realize who the character was, you know, so. But anyway, who the character was going to be as far as the transgender woman goes. All right, so there's your political issue, all right? But they figure out how to um, solve that. So there we go. And um, cut to they break, they stop the hack. Lena stops the hack, and the image transducers are put back, you know. And so they have they all the aliens all look human, all right. So now Mercy goes to Lena's tower or her corporation, gets in there physically, and Kara can't do anything because she can't go. She's trying to figure out how to get into her super suit. You know, where's my super suit, woman? Anyway, reference to the Incredibles. Um, uh, she tries to figure out how to get into a super suit, and she has to use her powers cleverly without Lena knowing, because, you know, Lena hates Supergirl, uh, so, for reasons. And, uh, 
Mercy gets in there with Lena, and we find out a little bit earlier that Mercy and Lena got along. Like, Mercy was a big sister to Lena, right? During Lex's time as while well, he was trying to destroy Superman. And they just went their separate ways. And so Lena and Mercy start fighting, and that allows Kara to escape to get into her Supergirl form and stop Mercy. You know? So that's how that ends. And then Mercy and then her brother are in the chamber cell. I can't think of his name, right? Right at, this, right at the top of my head. And then you all you all think everything is fine. They're all put away and all that stuff. And because of the anti-alien sentiment, they've been fighting at the DEO. And one of the guys ends up letting the tube free, you know, after a speech that Mercy gives, right? And then, you know, after that, you have this guy named Agent of Liberty talking about human rights. Aliens are more powerful than us. They have super strength. We need to have even super strength and blah, blah, blah. And we got to fight for our rights and based basically illegal immigration meets you know whatever whatever your political views are so um, anyway that happens and the next thing you know fuck they're you know the bad guys are released and she releases kryptonite into the air and supergirl's flying while she's giving the speech and uh, well uh, what's his face agent liberty Gives his little speech and she falls from the sky because she's exposed to kryptonite. And that's how the episode ends. Okay. Like I said, this show's highly political, right? But they try to solve it. You know, they try to solve the issues. Like my personal opinion on politics, everybody should do what they want to do. I don't care what you do. All right. But that's the that's the show, and that's why I've been kind of hesitant to put it up, because all the political statements that are made, you know, they even go quoting we go low, they go high. So they're very blunt in their political views. Okay, if you don't like the show, that's fine. You can watch, you know, whatever you want. But uh, anyway, that's the that's the show. I really enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, you guys take care. This is Crazy Dave. Bye bye.